Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Alex Jervis. I work at Caltech with Professor Andrade. And today I'm presenting this uh, research called a simple device for in situ direct shoot test and sinkage test uh, that we did together with JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory of NASA, and the Keck Institute of for Space Studies. So the idea is that we always have wanted to colonize the planets, you know, the moon and now Mars. But in order to colonize, we need to build. And then we need also to move things around. And to build safely and move things around safely, the only, we need to know the mechanical or thermomechanical parameters of the soil, or in the case of Mars, uh, the regolith, the Martian regolith. Um, usually this is done here on Earth by a technician that takes the sample, shifts the sample, takes it to the laboratory, and the, in the lab, the parameters are, are forgotten. And then these parameters are used actually to build things on Earth, or to design the highways or things like that. But in, in the case of Mars, this is impossible. So we cannot have a technician over there, we cannot ship back the sample to the Earth. So what we have is this rover. So the idea was attaching a, a device to the rover that allows us to perform this test to get these parameters. And then we can build things and we can move things around the Mar Martian surface. So this device is what we have here in these few pictures. It's just a small shearing box that has these clearing flaps that are triggered by this, the weight of the rover itself. And it has uh, something that shears, that moves the, the shearing box horizontally. That is this part. And we have designed the whole thing, and also have included a software to do this minimization process here to, to compute these so-called Becker parameters uh, using sinkage tests to move things around. So here are the results. In terms of friction angle and cohesion, our results are pretty accurate. We have a eight, around 8% 8 of error with respect to the lab test. And, and in terms of the uh, Becker parameters, we still need to get the more uh, insight into it. But here are the results. And in the end, we also improve, uh, work on improving this. And if you want to learn more about it, here is the, uh, the web page, or you can also read the paper. So I have a couple of things else to show. So you, some of you might remember this is a Spirit, a rover that got stuck on Mars surface. And this is still stuck. They never got it out and working. So that's <coughs> why we need to know these Becker parameters so these things like they, the, this rover getting stuck never happen again. Also, uh, the test was inspired by the typical shear test, the simple shear test is, that is actually taking a sample, a sample and performing in the lab this shear test. But we took it to the field, including the device on the rover. Finally, this is some testing of the shearing box. The shearing box is just what, five by five by five. That's it. That's all. And here we have. Uh, some video of the test of the shearing box without including the, the clearing flaps and so on and so forth. Um, and also the, the improvements on, on the design. So this is what's going to be actually on the rover. A longest shearing box, the clearing flaps with actuators instead of the typical triggers that we were having before. And this horizontal actuator with more uh, load cells to have a better accuracy with respect to, to the parameters. And here we have uh, more load cells for more accuracy. And that will be it. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and then next